Hey everyone and welcome to Kamchatka. This remote and wild peninsula is one of the most fascinating places on earth and we're about to dive into its wonders. This awesome place is a peninsula way over in the Russian Far East. It's a land that feels like the edge of the world, isolated and untouched by modern civilization. It's a land of crazy contrasts, like imagine huge volcanoes touching the sky and then, right next to them, glaciers sliding down to the sea. The juxtaposition of fire and ice creates a surreal and breathtaking landscape. Here, the Pacific Ring of Fire, which is a zone of volcanoes, meets the supercold Bering Sea. This unique geographical location makes Kamchatka a hotspot for geological activity. This makes the landscape crazy beautiful and powerful. The raw, untamed beauty of Kamchatka is like nowhere else on Earth with its dramatic scenery that leaves you in awe. Kamchatka is a place where the Earth's hot heart beats really strong. The volcanic activity here is a constant reminder of the dynamic forces shaping our planet. Hundreds of volcanoes are scattered all over, their tops way high above the ground. These towering giants dominate the landscape, each with its own story to tell. Some are sleeping giants, haven't done anything for centuries. These dormant volcanoes stand as silent sentinels, waiting for the day they might awaken. Others are awake, puffing out smoke, ash and melted rock. The active volcanoes are a spectacle of nature's power, constantly reshaping the land around them. You can often smell sulfur in the air, which reminds you of the powerful stuff happening underground. The scent of sulfur is a constant presence, hinting at the fiery activity beneath the surface. But even with all the fire and ice, life is everywhere. Despite the harsh conditions, Kamchatka is teeming with life. From hardy plants to resilient animals, Kamchatka has tons of cool plants and animals, all tough enough to live in this extreme place. The flora and fauna here have adapted to survive in one of the most extreme environments on Earth. Come with us as we explore this amazing land. Join us on this journey as we uncover the secrets of Kamchatka, a place where adventure awaits at every turn. We'll check out the majestic volcanoes of Kamchatka and uncover their secrets. From the towering peaks to the hidden valleys, there's so much to discover in this land of fire and ice. Kamchatka's story is all about fire and ice, a dramatic tale written over millions of years, showing how powerful the Earth's plates are. These massive slabs of rock are constantly on the move, shaping the very surface of our planet. Millions of years ago, this peninsula was formed when giant plates crashed together. The collision was so intense that it created a landmass that would become Kamchatka. The Pacific Plate got pushed under the Okhotsk Plate, and that caused a lot of energy. This energy was released in the form of volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. Melted rock, called magma, came up from deep inside the Earth and erupted onto the ocean floor. These underwater eruptions were the building blocks of Kamchatka. Over a super long time, these eruptions built up layers of lava and ash, eventually poking above the water and forming Kamchatka. Each eruption added a new layer, slowly but surely creating the land we see today. This process, called subduction, is still changing Kamchatka today. The land is constantly being reshaped by the forces beneath the surface. The Pacific Plate is still sliding under the Okhotsk Plate, which is why there are so many volcanoes here. These volcanoes are a testament to the ongoing geological activity in the region. You can see this geological action everywhere. The landscape is dotted with volcanic formations, each telling a story of the Earth's fiery past. Kamchatka is full of hot springs and geysers, where boiling water and steam shoot out of the ground. These natural features are a direct result of the volcanic activity beneath the surface. It's also got volcanic craters, calderas and lava flows showing how powerful the Earth is. These dramatic landscapes are a reminder of the immense forces at work beneath our feet. Kamchatka has a ton of different volcanoes, each one special. Some, like Klyuchevskaya Sopka, are huge. Their cone-shaped tops thousands of meters high. Klyuchevskaya Sopka is the tallest active volcano in Eurasia. Super impressive. Its top, often covered in snow and ice, can be seen from far away. Others, like Kronotsky, are perfectly cone-shaped, like giant pyramids. Kronotsky is called the most beautiful volcano in the world by some people, 
a symbol of Kamchatka's wild side. Then there's Karimsky, a small but super active volcano. Karimsky is always busy, spitting out ash and lava, showing that things are always changing. Every volcano, big or small, adds to the volcanic action that makes Kamchatka what it is. These mountains aren't just rocks, they're alive, shaping the land and affecting everything that lives there. Kamchatka's volcanoes aren't just sleeping. They're active and can change the land and the lives of people nearby. Recently, some volcanoes woke up, reminding us how powerful they are. In November 2024, Shivaluch, a volcano known for its big eruptions, exploded. It sent a huge cloud of ash way up high, covering nearby towns in grey. The ash cloud messed up airplane flights and was dangerous to breathe. Schools closed and people had to stay inside. Shivaluk's eruption shows how dangerous Kamchatka's volcanoes can be. They're beautiful, but they can also be destructive without much warning. Section 5. Life Finds a Way It's kind of weird, but even with all the fire and ash, life in Kamchatka is doing great. The volcanic landscape, even though it looks harsh, has lots of different plants and animals. They've learned to live in this crazy environment. Rivers full of salmon flow through volcanic rock. Brown bears, the biggest land predators, roam around, eating salmon and berries. Stella's sea eagles, with their huge wings, fly over the coast, looking for fish. The volcanic soil, full of minerals, is great for plants. Wildflowers make the meadows colorful, and tough shrubs and grasses grow on the volcanoes. Life in Kamchatka shows how tough nature is, a colorful picture against a background of fire and ice. Section 6. Unraveling Earth's Fiery Secrets Kamchatka's volcanoes aren't just pretty, they also help us understand what's going on inside the Earth. Scientists from all over come here to study these amazing things. Volcanologists, with their cool tools, watch the volcanoes closely tracking every shake and gas puff. They use seismometers to detect earthquakes, which often happen before eruptions. They study the gases, looking for changes that might mean an eruption is coming. Pictures from satellites give a view from above, letting scientists track ash clouds and changes on the ground. This information helps us understand how volcanoes erupt and how to warn people nearby to stay safe. Kamchatka is like a giant science lab for volcano scientists, teaching us about how our planet works. Section 7. Sacred Mountains and Ancient Legends For the people who have lived in Kamchatka for a long time, the volcanoes are more than just mountains. They're sacred, part of their culture and beliefs. These towering giants are woven into the very fabric of their daily lives, influencing their traditions, stories, and even their survival. These mountains are seen as the homes of gods and spirits, places of power and mystery. The mist that often shrouds their peaks adds to the sense of otherworldliness, making them appear as if they are touching the heavens. There are lots of stories passed down for generations about how these mountains were made and the spirits that live in them. Elders recount these tales with reverence, ensuring that the younger generations understand the significance of their heritage. One story tells of the god Vulcan, who made the volcanoes with his giant hammer, shaping the land and putting fire into the earth. This myth explains the fiery eruptions and the creation of the rugged landscape that defines Kamchatka. The Eitelman people believe the volcanoes are doorways to the spirit world. They see these natural formations as sacred portals that connect the physical world with the spiritual realm. They do special ceremonies and give offerings to keep the spirits happy and to have a good harvest. These rituals are vital for ensuring the community's prosperity and maintaining harmony with the powerful forces of nature. These old beliefs show a deep respect for nature and the power of these mountains. The people of Kamchatka live in harmony with their environment, understanding that their survival is intertwined with the will of the spirits that reside within these majestic peaks. Section 8. Adventure Awaits If you like adventure and seeing amazing nature, Kamchatka is the place for you. It's a huge, wild area, perfect for exploring. Hiking trails go through volcanic areas, leading to awesome views and hidden hot springs. 
Experienced climbers can try climbing volcanoes like Tolbachik. If you want something easier, helicopter tours give you a view from above, flying over steaming craters and glaciers. Watching animals is also popular, with chances to see brown bears, sea otters and lots of birds. Kamchatka is full of things to do, a place where adventure is everywhere. Section 9. Kamchatka. A testament to Earth's power. As our trip through Kamchatka ends, we're left feeling amazed. These fiery mountains way out on the edge of the world remind us how powerful our planet is. Kamchatka is a land of opposites, where fire and ice live together. It's a land where life is tough and survives in hard places. And it's a land of amazing beauty, where giant volcanoes, clean glaciers and thick forests come together. Let's work to protect this special place, so everyone can see the wonders of Kamchatka, a reminder of Earth's power and the balance of nature.